everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Stamper and I am here with all of the writing goodies. For today's writing adventure, I wanted to talk about pacing in a chapter. As I'm going through uh, my writing from camp, I am noticing that some of my chapters are shorter and some are longer and that's totally fine. There's some things that you want to look at when you're deciding on the pacing of a chapter. First of all, what is it that you want to accomplish in this chapter? Are you trying to add backstory? Are you trying to advance the plot? Are you trying to give a description of an event that's happening that's relevant to your story? You have to decide what you want, okay? Then you need to see how you can link up that information with what your previous chapter is. Now, some writers like to write all their chapters out and then piece it together like a puzzle. I'm not one of those people. That doesn't work for me. I like having the flow and continuity. So when I'm writing, I try to take a look. Where did I leave off? Where is it that I want to get to? And then start plugging in accordingly. Some people write chapters and they don't know where to end them. So how do you know when to end a chapter? Well, one, did you accomplish what you set out to do for that chapter? If the answer is yes, well, you kind of already know where to end your chapter. Now, shouldn't you? Main thing you want to do when you're ending your chapter is you want to leave a thread so that it will link up to your next chapter, whatever you're going to have happen next. It should be pretty easy once you get a rhythm going in your stories and everybody has different rhythms. Some people write in very short burst chapters. I'm currently reading right now, uh, Dante and Aristotle learn the secrets of the universe. And those chapters are all very short. They come in bursts, but they're also like in big uh, sections. So you could have like 12 chapters in one section, but each of those chapters are like little bursts of information and the thoughts and feelings of the character. And it generally goes in a chronological order. Other writers take the chapters and stretch them out super long with not a whole lot of breaks of smaller chapters. I'm the kind of person that I like long chapters broken up by smaller chapters, kind of gives the brain a little bit of a rest, but you keep moving with the story. If you find that your chapter is longer than what you normally write and you have a lot of things going on, you may want to consider breaking it up into two chapters or make it its own section uh, on its own. There, there's no one right way to answer that question. You have to go with what works best for your writing, for your book, for your whatever. So if you feel like your chapters are too long and you don't think that chopping them in half at a good break is a is going to work for you then consider maybe taking out some of the things usually it's a description that gets moved out maybe you can use it in a different chapter maybe not you have to ask yourself is this really relevant this is why you have multiple save files another thing you can do if you feel like your chapters are too long and you're not sure about how you want to break it up think of it like a tv show where would you put a commercial break if you can find a place for a commercial break where, you know, it's like they pause, you have your little candy commercials or um, automobile commercials or whatever, and then you get back into the story, usually that's a good spot to put a chapter break, gives your characters a chance to collect themselves, gives your readers a chance to collect themselves and then get into the next thing. Okay. So those are some thoughts to think about. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like these types of videos, please click the like and the subscribe, ding a ling the little bell for, so that you get the notifications so you know when I'm uploading things. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.